Hey, welcome back to Minus Letter Live. My next guest is Shadan Guran. He is the president of Global Blockchain Corp, trading on the CSE under the symbol BLOK. Shadan, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, Shadan, we've been following this story with interest. The blockchain thing sort of got up ahead of steam in the first quarter of 2018, and it's kind of leveled out now, but what is what is driving the sort of the trading patterns in the global blockchain space? Not the glo <laughs> global blockchain space generally, not yours specifically, yeah. but what's driving moving the stock around in blockchain companies? Well, one thing to keep in mind is that, that a lot of these blockchain companies, including ours, are, are going to be trading uh, somewhat reflecting the, the, the cryptocurrency markets. So if, if there's a big increase in, in, in the price of Bitcoin, for example, that will get reflected. Uh, and probably amplified in global blockchain, and, and likewise, when, when things go down, that, that gets reflected as well. Uh, out of all the blockchain companies, I can say ours is one of the very least that's, that's, that's affected by, by any downturns mm -hmm. in, in, in the crypto markets, and that's because people see that we're actually doing some really uh, neat initiatives and, and coming out with, with products and services and funding uh, real companies. So that, that uh, you know, kind of protects us from, from a, a lot of the uh, downside in the crypto markets that have been um, happening, you know, in in recent times. Sure. So the uh, you've, you've you've made a, a couple of moves. Uh, right. What so in the order of sort of priority? What are the ones that you're most excited about? Well, we just announced Laser uh, last week, and that's that's a cryptocurrency that that, that we're, we've been working on for many months now. Your own cryptocurrency. It's it's our own cryptocurrency. It's it's actually a fork of Ethereum, and and we're adding features to make it better in in making it faster, uh, allowing um, allowing it to be a hub for cross chain communication. So, you know, if if you if you think of Swift, this is kind of like the Swift of blockchains. It mm -hmm. allows, for example, somebody from, you know, Ethereum to transact with somebody on Bitcoin without any uh, singular intermediaries. The whole laser blockchain becomes the intermediary. Hmm. So that, that's, that's one uh, great feature about it. It brings anonymous transactions to, uh, to, to the blockchain. And, and I think um, with, with uh, one reason why today actually the, the, the crypto markets is, are, are, are down is because a few uh, bugs have been found in some key uh, Ethereum smart contracts mm. just this past week. And, and uh, you know, our, our, our philosophy is that uh, you, you need a lot more precision, a lot more accuracy, you know, more, uh, more um, you know, the, the same philosophies when, when, when you're developing an X-ray machine, for example, when, when, when you're de developing these applications, because you're dealing you're you're dealing with people's money. You're not you're not you're not just dealing with you know mm -hmm. like building a website, for example. So, so is it safe to say that the approach to Ethereum's development has been characterized by perhaps a, an insufficient attention to detail in the programming? I believe so, and and that's one thing we're we're we're, we're trying to rectify with with Laser. Okay, so will Laser have the smart contract features that Ethereum does? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But but it will have some more. Uh, fail-safe mechanisms in place to, to, to catch bugs and, and to restrict uh, exactly, you know, uh, some, some of the issues that, 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 that Ethereum currently has. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you also added NYMEX Chairman Richard Schaefer to the advisory board. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a coup. How's, how is uh, his participation going to help you? Yeah, I had the pleasure of meeting him in, in Toronto just a little while ago, and, and we, we started talking about the blockchain space, and it turned out that he, he'd been researching it quite a bit, and it's, it's not really surprising. I think, I think this is the future of uh, the financial industry, especially for, for, for the derivatives and commodities markets. And... Uh, you know, I, I, was, I was really surprised by, by how knowledgeable he was of the space, actually. And the, the more we talked, the, the more it made sense to, to, to bring him on board to, to really help us and give us some guidance on uh, how these technologies can, can be used in the commodities mm -hmm. and derivatives markets. So I look at his participation, I look at the SWIFT for blockchains yep. idea that we just talked about in the laser network. And it strikes me that you seem to be developing infrastructure for an institutional grade of transaction globally. Is that a safe characterization and is that reflective of your business model? Absolutely. So one, one, one thing we announced is that we're also working on a trade finance platform with, with a bunch of state actors actually. And we'll have more news on that uh, by, by, by the summer I, I, I imagine. And um, 
you, you really need something completely secure to, to, to bring on governments and large ports and those kinds of organizations. And that's, that's one of the reasons why we've decided to fork uh, you know, Ethereum and, and really have our own solution that, that, that is a best of breed solution. Mm -hmm. We're also working with another amazing cryptocurrency for that project. Mm. And it's, it's, uh, we're working very closely with, with the founders of that project. And it's, it's, it's one of the top 20 cryptocurrencies today. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Eh? So then the ability to transact in cryptocurrencies, uh, there's a limit to what you can do at this point mm -hmm. because of the restrictions associated with anti-money laundering provisions, with KYC know your client provisions, uh, the fees in and out, the transaction times, the number of transactions per you know, given hour that can occur. So from where you sit, you guys seem to have made your bet mostly on Ethereum. Is that safe to say or are you no. just happen to be on that one right now? No, I think, I think so well, you know, Laser is evolving Ethereum to, to be what we think is, is, is the best solution. But uh, there's no one blockchain f to rule them all for all applications. Each one is going to be a specific tool for you know, a, a specific set of use cases. Hmm. So you know, something like a social network, probably Laser wouldn't be the best fit for it. Mm -hmm. there's, or, or an attention economy token. So we're, we're, we're looking at other products there, products of the you know, solutions that we've actually been involved with in the past, yeah. even pre-global blockchain and creating as, as, a, as a team. So, you know, there's, there's various blockchains. Uh, uh, you know, what Laser, for example, does very well is, is it allows um, a decentralized exchange in the sense of custodianship. You can have various uh, products that are, you know, or, or funds that are not held by any custodian, able to trade, but you still have a centralized order book. Mm -hmm. There are other cryptocurrencies, for, for example, Stellar, which, which uh, solve the other problem of having a decentralized order book. So having these two be able to talk to each other, or for a social network, for example, you have some uh, blockchains like, like EOS and Steam that, that are probably a better fit. Having all these be able to talk to each other and do what they're really good at, it makes a lot more sense than, than, uh, than having you know, one system, really. Okay. Yeah. When does this whole platform start to generate revenue, and when does it become profitable? I think very soon. So one, one uh, you know, separate blockchain, actually, to, to, to Laser that, that, that we're developing is, is a gaming-related blockchain, casual gaming esports. We already have 12 of uh, you know, very established gaming companies signed up with over 400 million users. And they, they will be using this for commerce, in-game purchases, things like that, in-game in assets, really what blockchains are good at, uh, representing digital assets very, very soon. So this, this summer, that's, that, that's another project I'm hoping we can uh, really. Hmm. So global blockchain is, is more focused on the infrastructure, the blockchain itself, though you participate in custom builds of different cryptocurrencies and Global, global blockchain is involved in everything and anything in the blockchain space. We're willing to look at and incubate projects and spin them out, essentially. So you, you look at our mining division, we're, we've spun that out into its own company, and um, it it's now has more capacity than any mining operation in North America. Hmm. And, and we're going to do that with, with every vertical we, we really uh, focus on oh. and, and really build it out like that. So I, okay. I like to think of us as a, you know, kind of like a incubator private equity company for the blockchain space. Hmm, very cool. And we actually are. I mean, that's, that's what we're, we're an investment issuer. Right. All right, Sharan, that's a great introduction. We'll leave it there. We'll come back Thank in you. a quarter's time and see how you're okay, doing. Thanks wonderful. for coming Thank in. Thank you.